Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I just thought I would do a quick declutter of my foundations, pressed powders, primers, and concealers because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed and I have a couple of new things that I want to purchase and just some things I want to pass on to my sister while they're still good. So yeah, let's just dive in. Alright, so let's just start with pressed powders because it's right here in the middle. Um, this is the Jouer Hydrate and Set Powder. Um, I really did not like this. I felt like it just made my skin look really shiny and kind of like unflattering. So I think this is going to be decluttered. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. This is like my third or fourth one of these. I really love this powder. It's like super finely milled and I think it looks really beautiful on the skin. Like it looks natural without being like too matte. Still give your skin some like luminosity and glow so I'm definitely keeping this and then this is the MAC light plus mineralized skin finish powder I guess the shade is light plus but um I do like this powder I think it's pretty good um I've kind of like, used it down quite a bit you can tell but I think I might put this in like a project pan because I kind of want to use it up and just get my you know use out of it so I'm going to keep this one. Next we'll do concealer. So I have two Tarte Shape Tapes. I really like these um, concealers. And this one's getting kind of old and like gross. So pretty soon, like any day, I'm about to just throw it out. So I'm going to keep both of these. Let's see, I have this. I'm counting this as concealer. It's like an under eye corrector from Becca in like a mini size. And I'm going to keep this one. Mm, okay, I'm going to declutter this e.l.f. one because I don't, this is like the hydrating one, I think, and I just don't really like the formula of this. I think it looks really dry, actually, on my under eyes, which is where I mostly use concealer, so I'm going to declutter this one. All right, next I have my Dose of Colors concealer. I have the shade 8 Light, and I do like this concealer. A lot. I don't think it has as much coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape, but I do think it's a good concealer, so I'm going to keep this one. And then this is the Smashbox Concealer. Um, I actually like the formula of this. I just have way too light of a shade for me. That's my fault. But I'm going to declutter this one because it's just the wrong shade. And then finally I have... <laughs> finally I have this concealer from Kylie Jenner, and this is in the shade Gypsum. And I actually think this concealer is pretty nice. It has, like, nice coverage overall, I think. But this shade is a little bit off for me. And this is a little bit old of a concealer. So, um, hmm. It's not that I don't like the formula, because I do. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to keep this for now, and I might try to just use it up. In the next month or two, I feel like there's probably not that much product in there. So I'm going to keep this one for now. Okay, so next we will do my primers. And I guess we'll start with this one. This is the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. And I love this primer, as you can probably tell. Um, it's pretty much empty. Like, there's still some product in there, but I'm kind of having to, like, take it out like this to get it out. And so I'm still going to keep using it, but I mean, I'm about to replace it and order a new one because I really love this. So, um, this is like a keep to finish up, I guess. This is the Tarte Timeless, uh, smoothing primer. And I don't really, I don't know. I think, I don't think I've ever used this. I think it just got a little bit like that in shipping, but... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use this. I don't really like that it's in a pot form. Um, I'd rather just use the Touch and Soul one. So I'm going to declutter this. This is a mini of the Farsali Liquid Glass. And I just bought this recently. I've only tried it out once so far. And I don't really know what I think about it yet. Um, but I'm going to keep this for now because it's new. And I want to use it some more before I make a decision on that. This is a really expensive primer. This is the Guerlain Gold Primer. Uh, this is actually my second bottle of this. I really 
really enjoy this primer actually. Um, I feel like it makes my foundation just last a really long time um, and just makes my skin look so plump and smooth but it's not something I like to use every day. It's really something I generally use for like more special occasions or times I need my foundation to last a long time but because it was so expensive I don't really <laughs> want to get rid of it. So I think I'm going to keep this but I do think I'm going to make more of an effort to use it up because it was so expensive and I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to keep that. Honestly, I'm probably going to keep a lot of my primers because I really just enjoy these primers. And yeah, there's just a couple that I wanted to get rid of. So this is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Pure Canvas Primer. Um, this stuff is so good. This is just the mini of it. But I am really, really liking this one. So I'm going to keep that. This is the Coconut Skin uh, Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Um, I think this is like, let's see. No, there's still a lot of product in there. Um, I do really like this one. I don't necessarily need all these like glowing and hydrating primers though, but hmm. 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 I might declutter this one. Hmm. Hmm. No, you know what? I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it one more time. I'm going to make a little pile, I think, of products I'm going to use one more time and make a decision on how I feel about them. So I will show you my three piles at the end of this. And um, unfortunately, I'm pretty much going to be keeping the remaining of these because this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I've gone through two full sizes, but this is a travel size, so it's not open yet. So I will generally just put this in my travel bag. Um, so I really like this primer and it's not open, so it'll be good for a while. I include this in my primers because oops, sorry. I include this in my primers because I wear it under my makeup. Um and I love this product. Like I think this is like if something happened to this, I would go repurchase it immediately. I think it just makes the skin look so beautiful and smooth and glowy under makeup. And I seriously cannot recommend it enough. So this is a definite keep for me. And finally I have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and Again, I really love this. This is like my fourth bottle. And yeah, I think it's so good. So I'm going to keep this. Okay, so let me just give you like an overview. These are two that I'm decluttering. These two I'm going to try and decide. These I'm keeping, but this one is going to my travel back of drawer. And overall, I feel good about this. Okay, so here are my current foundations. I believe this is all of them. Um, let's see. I guess we can start with what I know I'm going to be keeping, which the first thing is this Bite Beauty um, Change Maker Foundation. I love this. It's like, as soon as I got it and wore it the first time, it's like I've almost worn nothing else since then. I just, I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's been laying down, so you can't really tell, but I mean, it's getting quite down there. I'm going to have to buy it soon but this is an absolute keep for me this l'oreal foundation um i actually really like this i think it has really nice coverage but it's just a little like um the color is a little wrong for me this is shade 415 i think i need shade 410 but um yeah it's just it's a little bit more fuller coverage than I, what i've been wearing recently so i think i'm going to just pass this on to my sister so she can get some use out of it and I can use my other foundations so nothing's going to waste here. Um, this one is the NARS Sheer Glow and again like it's been laying down but there's really only like this much left in it but I've had this for over a year now and I think that the formula is kind of going off because I wore it the other day because so I was like oh it's almost empty I might as well use it up right but it um it's, I felt like it looked really heavy and kind of weird on my skin, so I think it's just gone off, which is kind of a shame, but I used up pretty much the whole bottle. Um, there's just like a little bit left, and it's like really liquidy, so it coats the sides, but um, yeah, I don't know. I would definitely buy this again in the future because I think it's really beautiful, but yeah, I think this is going to be decluttered. So I'm definitely going to keep this Cosmetics CC Cream. I only have like two more matte foundations, and... 
I really like this for the summer when I'm a little bit more oily and I like that it has some extra SPF in it. So I'm going to keep that. Oh, this is a Pro Glow that I haven't opened yet. And I love this foundation. It's probably like my favorite drugstore foundation. So I'm going to keep this and I mean, I'm not sure when I'll open it, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to keep it. Okay, this Naked Skin Foundation. This is like now discontinued by Urban Decay and this shade is too light for me. This is shade two and I normally wear shade like three <laughs> or three and a half or 3.25. Um, so I think just because this is too light, it just doesn't look very good on my skin and I have all these other foundations that I'd rather use instead. So I'm going to declutter this one. I think I'm going to keep this new Naked Skin foundation. I wore this the other day and I thought it looked really nice. So I don't know. I was thinking about decluttering it, but since I wore it recently and it looked pretty good, I think I'm going to keep it for now. And I'm also going to keep this Anastasia foundation because it's like my most glowy foundation. And when I finish this one up, I'll open my Pro Glow. But I don't know. I think this one, I don't know. It doesn't look so good on camera and in pictures, in my opinion. I think it just looks best in real life, in natural lighting. But I do think it's good foundation, and I've used probably like 25% of it, so I think it's something that I can get a lot more use out of, so I'm going to keep this one. And then finally, we have this Makeup Revolution stick, which I just bought. If you watched my Ulta haul, you would have seen, but um, I bought this because I heard it was a dupe for the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, which I love, but this looked so dry on my skin. I just, I don't know. I don't normally have that problem with foundations. Um... But I think I am going to put this in my try and decide pile. And if it's not something that I like, I'm going to declutter it. Out of those, here are three that I'm decluttering, five that I'm keeping, and one that I'm deciding on. Over here, we have the products I'm decluttering. These are the products I'm keeping. And these are the products I'm going to try and decide on. And overall, it's not like a huge amount that I decluttered like I'm getting rid of eight products total and I'm deciding on four so that's like potentially 12 that will be leaving my collection and that just leaves room for all these products over here that I absolutely love and really want to use and get a ton of use out of so yeah I feel good about this and that most of these will be going to a new home where they will hopefully be loved and used so I don't know that makes me feel good too instead of them just sitting in my collection and going bad because I've already bought them and tried them so you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little declutter, and I will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.